I don't know why this one's calling to me with this nice new white uh, thing here. Let's go with this one. What is that? <laughs> That's the mama candle and there's the papa candle and there's the baby candle. Let's look on this side, see if there's anything exciting like a very heavy etched crystal bowl. See, a little sisal bunny. Now who glued an egg to his behind? That was foul play right there. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. Well, hello. I am at Goodwill. Surprise, surprise. But I'm at a Goodwill I don't come to very often and I made the mistake of, well, I don't, I guess it wasn't a mistake because there's just like no easy way to get to this Goodwill right now because they are tearing up the streets and repaving for the F1 race that's coming in the fall. Now I'm super excited about the F1 race coming here because Noah gets to go. That was his birthday present but I'm not excited about how long it took me to get to this Goodwill. So I'm hoping it makes up for it by uh, loading my cart with some super fantastic high profit treasures. So come along with me and let's see if we can find them. Let's get shop done. Oh my gosh, there's a pizza parlor right there and it smells so good. Oh my gosh, I do love me the smell of a good pizza, but that's not what we're here for. We're here for the Goodwill. And so, let's get in here, see what treasures we can find. Oh, they changed the store around and where their uh, checkout is. And there's, oh, okay. Carts are on this side now. Well, let's go find us a lucky one. Oh, I don't know why this one's calling to me with this nice new white uh, thing here. Let's go with this one coming by the jewelry first so let me give it a quick peek see that's kind of a cool piece but I see $12.99 on it and I just don't know enough about jewelry to pay up like that unless I'm absolutely certain and there's nothing in here that I am absolutely certain about so it looks like they've totally remodeled the store and this used to be where like all of the Tchotchke started, but now they got the luggage over here, and it looks like tchotchkes might be over here. So let's go around the corner here. We'll just start at the back and work our way forward. Man, they're like, wow, they are tearing it up. Because uh, the lamps and stuff used to be on that back wall, and now they've moved them over here. Goodness gracious, my brain's all a flutter with the changes. This is kind of a cool chandelier with all, these is all, these is all, this is all beadwork. It's kind of nifty. It's 10 bucks. I know it's totally worth 10 bucks, but I'm not going to pick that up today. Just have to be a little more careful about the large items that I acquire because, you know, I got to have space. They got to be dealt with. And I'm doing really, really good in my office. And I just want to keep that up and not overwhelm it. So let's go over here. Look at stuff that actually fits in the cart, which should be what I'm more concentrating on. Oh, this is one of those little balancing kinetic. Do they call them kinetic little thing? Now, I don't know exactly what it is, but it does appear it's all here. And it is only $2.99. So you know what? Uh, is he on a, oh, he's on skis. He's a skier. Oh, that's kind of fun. All right, yeah, we'll definitely take that for $2.99. I don't know if I mentioned that the color is purple. Purple is the discounted color tag. That's really scratched up and worn. So that would be a no-go. Little shell dishes. See, made in, I see something made in 
Ah, I can't see what it says, but I'm pretty sure it says China. Pretty, pretty sure. Ooh, there's one of my little chicken wire baskets that I love so much. For $1.99, I will take you. What is that? <laughs> it's, okay, it's just an interesting somebody's project kind of thing. I see a piece of amberina glass. Ooh, look at you, and I bet you've got a little glow to you. Maybe not amberina. I don't know. I don't know if we call this amberina. It's not quite orange enough here, but it's definitely a ruby red, and for 99 cents, we will grab that. I have had several of these leaf dishes, and I'm always attracted to them, but they just really have no resale value, as, uh, as do clowns. Clowns are, clowns are tricky. They're very tricky. Look at this pretty bowl. You are signed. You are, oh, I like their pricing here. Okay, let's see. We can make out who that signature is. I see S-T-U-A-R-T, -T. Stuart, Stuart, Stuart something. But that helps, that helps. We should be able to look it up. Once I get to a computer, we can look it up a little bit. A little bit. I can't tell what the date is. I think it's an 03, 03. There we go. It's beautiful, look at it. For $2.99, uh, yeah. Well, I'm very happy we came to the back first. Fall gourds. All right, nothing else on that shelf. There is a parasol here that looks to have some age on it. Let's uh, see if I can... Oh, I see some damage. Oh, I see a lot of damage. That is so sad. That's so sad. Those are racing checkerboards. Oh, why? There's no race car. Why can't there be a race car on there? Because then that would be truly phenomenal. That is a fused glass put on these bottles. This one has cork, this one doesn't. $1.99, I feel like Noah might like these for his room around his racing memorabilia stuff and he could put like a fake plant. In fact, I would probably just do that for him and then present it with a fake plant. Cause those, they do, they're checkerboard, right? They, they are, I mean, they're checkerboard, but, but that my first thought was racing checkerboards, but I could be wrong, but I think it would work. I know I'm, I'm justifying this. I'm justifying this because I really like the colors in it. Okay, we're gonna get them. So I am here during midday, which is not normal for me. I generally do not get out until the evenings, but I'm trying something new, I'm trying something new. And, and today it worked out. Home is where the cat is. Ooh, it's under there. I just want to try all different kinds of times of day and just see where the best deals are. But you know what? I really find things like any time of day. So it's really all good. Lots of shells, little coral fragments. You are a cute little mouse. Who makes you? You are Kerr. Creations, 1976, and you're a dollar ninety-nine. I think we will pick you up. Let's see anything else. Too bad that is all broken. Pretty little piece of frosted purple crackle glass. Oh, more shells. Some candle hold. Oh, those are heavy. Why are you so heavy? No maker's name. I guess it was on there. It's a remnant, but I can't make it out. I feel like there would have been one more in the set as well. Oh my, oh my gosh, you are heavy. Whew, this is the heavy shelf. But I'm looking over here and I see a little jar full of uh, bottle brush trees. $4.99 though. I don't think there's enough in there for me to justify spending $4.99. I will leave that. I've got plenty of that kind of stuff right now. Let's see what this 
dish is. Sometimes these can be Italian. This one's from Portugal. And it's only a dollar. Really? It's only a dollar? For an asparagus dish made in Portugal? It's got one little teeny tiny thing, but you almost can't go wrong at a dollar. Is this a jar? It is, well, it's a candle. It's a candle jar. I would take the candle out of there, I'll tell you what, because I like it as a little jar for $3.99, because it is ceramic. You take the candle out of there, and then it's just a cute little jar, and there's no damage. So yeah, we'll pick that up too. Okay, I have to do something, because I found it. Look, there's that's the mama candle, and there's the papa candle, and there's the baby candle. This is what they call a dummy bottle, but not really. Dummy bottles are uh, generally glass, but this is like a display bottle. Chateau de Motziger, 1925. I wonder if that was like somebody's birth date and that was like a celebration thing. I don't know. The glass ones, I will pick those glass ones up when I find them at the right price because they sell $50 plus depending on the brand of the wine. Is this candy? Ooh, it is. It's candy and it seems really, really old. That's an odd thing to be on the shelf. See a little cherub guy in there. These are older. They look chalkware. I'm looking to see if I can see any damage on him. I don't see any, surprisingly. So you know what? For $1.99, we'll pick them up. There is a white one in there, too. Oh, I do see a little damage. Is it enough to deter? I Yeah, that's, that's... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, little guy. I gotta leave you. Hopefully somebody else will pick you up. Give you a good home. Little crochet kit. Just thinking of Jordan. Jordan's really into like the crocheting and knitting and all of that right now. It's a little hodgepodge of stuff though. Nice little vintage prints on board. Ooh, we got a bunch of art stuffed over here. I don't even want to be tempted by it. Oh, what are you? Oh, I thought you were something different when I saw you. Little ornaments to paint. Hmm. What are you? You are a little resin elf looking guy. There's hands. I'm not sure what you're all about. But it's a very, very lightweight, thin res resin. It's not a quality resin. Oh. Is that faded or is it meant to be kind of a muted color? It's from Target 2015. It's not even old. I cook with wine sometimes. I even add it to the food. Noah, Noah can't say that because he does not drink wine. Oh my goodness. Hold on to good friends. <laughs> That's hysterical. For 69 cents. Ah, uh, he's a little, he's a little bent, but I feel like he might have some age on him. And he is only 69 cents. Stand by. Let's see if we can read that date under there. I can't, I can't get it off enough to read that date. 2001, he has vintage. All right, I'll save him for 69 cents. I'm coming over here because they've got jewelry cases. Hmm, 100 bucks. Do we need, these don't really fit well in my store though because either you have, they have to be away from a wall and um, I don't have a spot that's away from the wall. Looking at this little cabinet, that's ah, too small. Hmm. But it looks like they are adding a checkout in the back here, which is going to be cool because then there's, this opens up into the mall here. So that's actually a great idea. All right, let's 
let's look through the seasonal Christmas. How about a chenille bunny? How much are you? $3.99. He's kind of cute for $3.99. Yeah, we'll get the chenille bunny. Burlap. Very sad looking little doggy. Some greenery. Mm. City by the sea, San Francisco. There's a little wagon with a uh, tree in it. Try me. Oh, it still lights up. Look at that. That's very cute. It's a little too big. It's a little too big for what I'm doing. I haven't thought about doing any larger size, but hmm, maybe. Always gets some me thinking. Gotta look up too. See if there's anything up. No, nope, don't see anything up. Got some more angels. These are definitely resin. Snowman playing piano. No, nothing here. Ah, there was a time these hangers used to bring some good money, these padded hangers. These do look, these do look um, vintage, but I don't think they are. They're distributed by Albertsons, Boise, Idaho. I don't know, maybe they are. What are, what are your thoughts? Tell me down in the comments. I'm gonna leave them, but tell me down in the comments. If you think those are vintage, or are they making them new now, and those are just uh, vintage inspired? More Christmassy. Christmassy, Christmassy, Christmassy. Oh, what are you? Is that like an advent? It doesn't have anything on it. They're just like little blocks. Can't do much with that. All right, let's look on this side, see if there's anything exciting, like a very heavy etched crystal bowl. And now it does have some damage, but I'm gonna use two hands to pull that out and see if it's got a name. It does have a name etched right there, but I don't know really what it is. It looks like land or lend. And I don't know what that stands for. If it wasn't damaged, I'd take a chance on it. Um, but it's got some pretty significant damage, so we're gonna leave it. Wow, so that is a lid to something. Like, I would like to know what that lid goes on, because that's quite substantial right there. Very interesting. That is a pretty little etched glass jar. Probably an EAPG. Not worth a whole ton, though. So we're gonna leave that. I know, you caught my attention twice. I think you are older, but you are pretty worn. Oh, it's pulling at my heartstrings, but I think I'm gonna leave him. I know it's hard sometimes, it's hard to make these decisions, but we must be wise, we must be wise. We came, we shopped, we're ready for cocktails. <laughs> kind of fun. What is this? It's a made in Taiwan. They're um, like little trays in a wood. I think they're new old stock. I think they are older. Kind of cool. I had something like it before. Not big money. Trying, trying to find the big money today. I need the big money. Party light. No, oh, I don't feel good leaving you there. Let's put you right there. Got some damage on this piece, but I wanted to see if it had a name. It does not. All right. Ooh. Painted on there. It's just painted on there. Oh, you are upside down. 
Oh, you're a wall pocket. I have a sweet little wall pocket. That is a little outhouse birdhouse. The problem is there's no access in to clean it out. And then the birdies can get sick because all that bacteria gets in there and they're eating from it. It's just not, no, it's not good. All this cowboy stuff. Oh my, look at her. She is a painted piece, probably Atlantic mold, I'm gonna say. Doesn't say on this one. We will leave her, we will leave her. And we will keep moving on and looking for other stuff. Oh, monkey. Oh, it's a monkey and an elephant. Wish there was a whole set. Those are cute coasters. What do we got in here? We've got a little blue and white bear, a little chick, and a little dog. Nothing exciting. Joan Walsh, England. Sweet little piece. And then I spotted a bird with strawberries made in Japan for 69 cents. Yes, he has some chips, but for 69 cents, that's totally forgivable. I see a little sisal bunny. Now who glued an egg to his behind? That was foul play right there. He is not all that exciting. And what is this? A natural wood candle holder that little cutout on the side that's kind of cute for 99 cents but it's split look at that it's split now we're gonna leave it too bad that's missing a drawer let's see now hmm let's see who makes this one it is in the middle something H O S I R O S I silver, I think is what I see. It's not heavy enough to be silver, it's silver plate. Silver plate. Never hurts to look though. Okay, well, this is an interesting thing to do with books. I wonder if this is just until they set up where their books are going because I'd never seen a Goodwill put all their books on a shelf like this. All right, let's look over here. Ugh, it is so true. My Facebook memory keeps coming up. It was two years ago that we lost our beautiful Xena and she was one of those dogs that just will never, ever, ever leave my heart. I mean, I've loved all of my dogs, but Xena, that girl had a special place. Still miss her so much. That's a pretty little piece, but it's newer, modern. These are grabbing my attention. Look at the cool handles on those, and they're little cheese servers. I don't know that there's much of a market for those, but they are pretty. Let's come over here. Let's see what we got. Metals can sometimes be hiding treasure. So, oh, and not breakable. So that's good. Well, it's a little made in China piece. It had some really nice Art Deco lines. That's what drew me to look at it. Oh, hello, beautiful starfishies. There are two of them. Starfish, right? Or are those flowers? Now I always get all confused. They're $5.99, whatever they are, so we'll get them and figure it out later. I think I'm still going with starfish. I think they look like starfish. Let me know in the comments what you think. Unless I get an overwhelming response otherwise, I'm going with starfish on those. Or shall I say, sea star the scientifically correct terminology. This is kind of cool. It's got no price on it. I don't know anything about it. 
It's kind of a cool, let's see. Can you see it there? Now you can see it better. I am not gonna get that, but honorable mention. We've got some ironwood quails, but unfortunately this guy has had his little head knocked off. He is only $2.99. Should I rescue him? I mean, display it this way and you can hardly tell, right? You can sand that down. I'm justifying again. Okay, I'm gonna save it. So I got a comment yesterday that I really need to stop buying all this junk and learn how to buy things. Yeah, you know, I might, <laughs> it's kind of laughable guys. I have a very successful resale business. And what I have learned is what the people that come to my sales like to buy. And they're like me, they wanna rescue things too. And because I buy it right, I can sell it for a low price. And then we get these wonderful items into forever homes and they don't end up in the landfill. And that's my business model. And uh, other people have other business models. And, and I celebrate everybody who has a successful business model. You know, what works for one may not work for another and vice versa. So um, I don't tell anybody do what I do, but if you love to do what I do, then try to do what I do and see if it works for you. It's worked pretty darn well for me. I just needed to get that out there. I'm, I'm eyeballing this going, what can we do with this at the store? Hmm, looks like it'd be a cute little sign if I took those hooks out of there. That's what I'm thinking. Cause I think it's only it's supposed to be like a sign, right? Don't really need it though. Oh, look at this cute little guy. 99 cents, just a little, little crafty cow. I also can gauge like things that I think that somebody else will pick up and rescue. I don't need to get it all. I try to get the stuff I think is going to end up in the landfill. I'm looking at these little uh, Winnie the Pooh character letters. L Y S L I S Y. It's like Lizzie, but with an S. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like there's maybe a letter missing. All right, I don't see anything too exciting here. Maybe a little, ooh, ooh. Harmon Furniture Company. Oh, how much are you? Of course you're not priced. Of course you're not, but you know what? We're gonna find out. All right, let's look through the fakeness. See if there's any exciting fakeness like sugar fruit. You know, I do love me some sugar fruit. I feel like this would have been maybe in a, ooh, there's, oh, I thought it was a strawberry. I got all excited for a minute. Maybe it is the whole little basket full for $4.99. This one's not sugared, it's glitter. Oh, there's some little baby grapes in there, okay. All right, we're gonna grab that for $4.99. Oh, but we are not done in the fakeness aisle. Let's keep looking. That's a lot of flowers in that. Yeah, I don't see anything. Let's look in the vases. Maybe there will be something exciting. These are full of rocks. No exciting bases on that shelf. It's semi-interesting. It's actually not badly made. It's got a thickness and heaviness to it. It's just not a super exciting piece. It's not a like, oh, Danny, you have to grab that kind of piece. It's just a, if you needed inventory, it'd be nice to pick up. But I'm not in that place at this point in the week, so nothing in the vases today. Let's see if there's anything exciting in the plates and dishes. There's a duck planter with a chip. I do see a piece of depression glass. Let's take a peek. Looks like a Lancaster pattern, I want to say, for $1.99. Uh, I'm always torn on these because 
historically I have not done well with the depression glass. So I will leave that for somebody else. I'm pretty sure somebody else is going to grab that because it is not a bad piece. It's just not a piece for me. Let's see what else is here. What are these little dishes? No. You look like restaurant wear. Shenango, yep. You are restaurant wear. Kind of a fun little piece. Mm, you know, it's calling me for a buck 49, I gotta tell you. All right, we'll grab it. Let's see if there's any others. Little Japan bowls. Oh, I thought there was a cookie in that bowl for a moment. I'm not even sure what is in that bowl, but we are, uh, we're not venturing there. I think I see some more restaurant wear, but I'm looking at this. Look at the plug. It's got this fabric plug old coffee pot. It's only $3.99. <gasps> oh man, I feel like I can't leave that. Look at how Art Deco even the plug looks. I feel, feel like this needs to be rescued. Look at it was 30 and now they've marked it. Oh wait, did somebody paste that on there? I mean it's on there pretty darn good. Is that repriced or did somebody stick us to, you know what, I'm gonna, it's a recent date. I'm gonna take it up to the register and I'm gonna find out. These also look like restaurant wear. Oh, they say Oneida, but they look like something you'd get in a restaurant with sauce in it. All right, glassware. Let's see what we've got in the glassware today. Oh, those are little Hello Kitty bags that came out of something. I am not seeing much of anything this time. I do see a single margarita glass. The painting on it is not real great. Do love those sunflowers though. That could be one of my little projects. The price is right. I'll rescue that for $1.99. There's this pretty mid-century set of kind of glass are they wine something about that does not scream wine to me but it's not martini I'm not sure I'm not sure what does that say NSPCA that's a really cute logo on that mug the gobbler the gobbler don't know who makes the gobbler You know, it gives me ideas too. Can make a little fall themed assemblage, turkey themed perhaps. I feel like I kind of want that. Another footed one. Just a little vintage guy. What is this poor kitten doing? Okay, there's the fish bowl, and then I'm puzzled. I'm puzzled by that one. Let's see what cartoon this is. It's a, Oh, it's a Boynton. It's for someone special with these little seahorse. Oh gosh. Look at that little seahorse. <laughs> 69 cents. Yes, we must. Spoke too soon. Look at the rim. It's cracked. Well, that's, that's a darn it. I'm trying to figure this one out. Who are these characters? Is this like a Game of Thrones kind of a thing? I do not know. Then, I see these down here. Okay, Tiger's Timeless Treasures is going to be proud of me. Wachtersbach. <laughs> um, these aren't super exciting though. I like the red Christmas tree ones. I don't know about these little black checkered ones. I'm going to go ahead and leave those for somebody else, but they are cute. Alright, let's look over here. They've got lots of kitchen goodies. Hmm. Nothing. Nothing exciting yet except maybe a very, very colorful bowl, but I do see chips already. I'm just trying to figure out, is that a bird? Is it trying to be a bird? I think it's trying to be a bird, but it's, it's 
got paint loss and chipping on the edge. It is a terracotta. I mean, their prices here are definitely good. I gotta give them that. This, this Goodwill has had the best pricing of all the ones I've been to lately. I hope that that is reflecting in their bottom line and they pass the word on to all the other stores that are hiking the prices up so much. I mean, for them, it's volume. They put out carts and carts and carts of stuff on a daily basis, so they don't have to charge as much to make more money. Made in the Philippines. Whereas a little store like mine, where we only get maybe, you know, 20 people a day in, well, then you have to maximize the pricing. But I feel like at the good stuff, we do a really good job of mitigating the higher prices. And just in case we made a mistake, it, you know, it comes down to 60% off for everybody. And then sometimes we even go hog wild and just go, dollar. <sighs> I do like these cobalt blue and I like the price. So it's a dollar for the large and it's 69 cents for the small. And I think I'm gonna end up with all of them. There's four of the large ones. Ooh, I do not want you to fall, honey. Four of the large ones and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and 10 of the small ones, even numbers and everything. Yay. Oh, I did look at this before. Oh, it's signed. Birch is the type of wood. It's a pretty good size. And for $3.99, it's pretty much a no brainer. This raw natural wood is really popular in decorating right now. So I'm gonna grab that. And we'll look on this shelf. Let's see if there's anything irresistible. What are you? I don't even know what you are. Oh, those go to like one of those mid-century serving trays. There would have been four pieces of that on like a Lazy Susan, which is not here. All right, pots and pans and cooking things, none of which look exciting today. So onward. Looking on the end caps here because they have all their purses here. I spotted this one that looks like it might have a little age to it. Lulu Townsend. It's very clean. And it's only $5.99. I think I will get Lulu Townsend. I'm due to have another purse sale again. Maybe next Wednesday. I think I will because Picker Road is back from their trip. And she likes to sell. We'll probably mix purses and jewelry. That's what we'll do. We're going to mix up purses and jewelry over on Whatnot next Wednesday. I don't know what the date is. Oh, I do. It's the, it's the 31st. It's the last day of May. And uh, yeah. I just decided purses and jewelry on whatnot next Wednesday. Now, if you're not already over on whatnot, go down to the first pinned comment on this video. There is a link to grab $15 of spending money over on whatnot to go and check it out. And if you are already on whatnot, I will put the link over to my whatnot profile so you can follow and bookmark my shows. Let's see what's on this end cap little Oh, it's a little mini backpack purse. That's like a macrame crochet kind of job for $2.99. Well, that just seems like a good deal. Let's see, honey. You are pretty clean. You are Janie and Jack is the brand way down there. Sure, we'll grab you. Oh, I see. This is Chaps. Now, somebody said that that is a Ralph Loren Company? I did not know that, actually. Chaps. I don't know if their purses are worth picking up, but this one does have a lot of little issues. Little herringbone, no name. You're a little bit interesting, but you were very, very dirty inside. All right, I think that's it for the purses, at least right here, except I saw fringe. Fringe always gets my attention because I love saying boho. I like the term and I like the style. 
It's polyester made in China. Okay, we'll leave you. All right, next aisle. All right, this is like the small kitchen appliance aisle, which we won't really look too hard at because I can tell there's nothing here and even this piece of glass isn't super exciting. So we'll keep moving. And the other side has plastics, of which also I don't spot anything super exciting either. All right, let's go find some more super exciting stuff. Oh, we have some spillage down here. I wonder if they are aware of that yet. I may go find an employee so they don't end up with a lawsuit when somebody slips and falls on the wet floor. Pet supplies. Why is there an elephant in the pet supplies? Why do you have a hole in your back, little wood elephant? My people say pick up all the elephants, all of them, every one of them. $2.99, that's not a bad price. I just wish I knew what he was for, but we'll grab him. Ha, and look what I found, two more. So now I have six of the larger ones. That's kind of fun. Pottery Barn round paper lanterns. I'm not a big fan of round paper lanterns. This is a harness for a dog that actually would carry his uh, uh, or her um, pickup <laughs> baggies. That's, that's kind of fun. All right. Paper jams, guitar. I don't know what that's for. It's, uh, I don't know. Other than just to be decorative. Look at this. Ooh, that is real leather trim. It is a little bit worn. Oh, the latch is really broken. But oh, it's full of knitting needles. Oh, that's too bad. All right. That the bag itself though is just it's too much damage for me. Knitting needles, like so that's they must have got it in the state donation with all those knitting needles. Titanium golf balls. There's different stuff I used to look for when I was doing arbitrage of sending things to Amazon. Um, golf balls, I remember, was like one of the things I used to sell a lot of golf balls. I didn't really care for the Amazon selling though. It felt too much like work. Crisis averted. All right, let's see what's up on top of the toy shelves there. Hmm, nothing on that one. And nothing on this one. Games was another thing. I sold a lot of games when I did Amazon. But it's, you know, you see me, I like, unless it's like a game that I really want to play, it's not my vibe. All right, they've got pillows and blankets up top. That makes those interesting to shop. Hmm. It makes me wonder if I did something different with shoes and I put our linens up top, what would that look like? That's got me thinking. All right, we're looking through pillows up top. Birds. I have a lot of bird pillows. What do you mean, TikTok version? Oh my goodness. TikTok's now got its own game. Who to thunk? Oh, no way. Are you really sitting here staring at me? From the top of a linen shelf, <gasps> you are just a made in China one. You are not the Blanco version, but nonetheless, uh, purple glass owl for $3.99. Fabulous. And more pillows on this side. Hmm. I'm looking for more glass tucked in. 
Okay, this guy's kind of cute. He is kind of adorable. He's like a little keystone cop. I, he's just like a little pillow guy. He doesn't have a tag or anything. He might be might be homemade even. Oh, he's $7.99. That's the first price. That uh, was a little out of my realm of comfort on an item. All right, we'll give him one. We'll give him one. All right, we're back in the textiles, blankets specifically. I've got a newer crocheted blanket. I like to look for the old vintage ones. They hold a lot of memories for people, and I think that's why they're popular. Okay, nothing here. Do you like to look through the tablecloths as well? Especially looking now for Christmas ones, because once Christmas gets here, the prices go up. It's one of those things I will pick up off season and sock it away, because tablecloths at Christmas time go way up in value. Because all of a sudden people go, oh, I need a tablecloth, I got company coming over. And they will go and find the one they want and they will pay up for it. One of the things I don't like about this store is these floors because there's no way not to rattle everything in the cart. Now, I've never broken anything, um, but it does give you that little bit of discomfort until you get to the uh, clearing zone of uh, getting everything wrapped up. I spotted this peeking out as I was walking by. That is a beaded Mickey Mouse belt. And I don't know if it's handmade. It's real leather. Now it's Disney branded. Disney Honey Fashion, and it is only $3.99. Uh, yeah, yeah, we will uh, grab the Disney belt. All right, well, I did go through a little bit of clothes, and I just grabbed this because it's it's half price, so it's $4.50. I do believe this is vintage. Um, it's mini. It's plaid with a little ruffled. I don't know. I just found it uh, kind of kind of cute. And then uh, I got a couple of t-shirts to sell up on my stage area, but uh, we're I mostly get those uh, just in case they don't have paper. Um, but we're gonna go check out now. Stay tuned for a recap where I tell you everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth. That's coming up right now.
passing up the checkout line. And it was that uh, today, which is Thursday, is the only day they don't put out new goods. So I just got lucky, she said, that none of the regulars had shown up since they like restocked last night. I'll take it. I got uh, two boxes in a bag full of awesome stuff. So uh, I am heading back to the store now to work on my office just a little more. And I'm going to try to get into this groove on a regular basis so that I just stay caught up on everything. Little pieces at a time of everything versus getting caught up on something, then putting it off and getting behind on it again. That's the new like routine I'm trying to get into. So heading back to do that. You go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one.